Howdy YouTube, I drank your milk here, and today we are going to be looking at the Matilda Mark II infantry tank. Now, this isn't the first intro I've actually recorded for this video. I recorded a very positive, upbeat, We Love Matilda Mark II intro previously. Now, that was much more of a love letter, and this, I'm afraid, is going to be more of a breakup note, because having ground through hours well, maybe not quite hours, but many, many games of the Matilda Mark II to make this video, I have come to the dramatic conclusion that it is a complete waste of time. Now, having played the Matilda Mark II in other games, um, not necessarily games like this, but uh, some games like Steel Panthers, uh, the Matilda Mark II, I remember great fondly, it would be very good in that strategy game, it being it's good armour, it's good gun, and the German tanks you came up against, generally speaking, had a rough time dealing with it. And that's because of its fantastic armour. So look at its armour here. And we've got uh, the Hull armour, 75, 70, 55. The turret armour, 75, 75, 75. It's good armour. It's good armour when you come up against the 37mm guns, 45, 47mm guns, the short 50. Not so good when you come up against the long 75mm guns that many German tanks will have when you're playing a battle racing free. So what we found is we were getting constantly destroyed by um, a number of anti-tank guns mounted on various German chassis. Uh, 88mm flat guns, but that'd be a problem wherever you are. And um, the Panzer Mark IV, uh, its various guys with its long 75, taking us out, no trouble at all. The Matilda's strength is its armour. At BR3, you have no strength because the armour is completely put to one side because everyone's got bigger guns. Effectively, we're fighting a 1940 tank and we're fighting against 1944, 1943 tanks. And there's a massive difference in what they have to what we have. Our two-pounder gun might get a penetration, not, a, not as often as you'd like. But it's not going to do an awful lot of damage. You're not going to get much of an effect when you do penetrate. See, penetration is 79 um, at 100 meters, 61 at 500, and 46 at 1,000. But you're you you are not fighting on an even kill with your enemy. Now, if you were a battle rating two point something, um, you'd have much more of a chance. But even when you you look out and you you're riding into battle with your teammates and you've got Shermans, you've got T34s next to you, you can't help but feel a little out of place. Which is a shame because I love the look of this tank. Um, if we're a lower, a lower BR, it would actually be pretty useful. Well, you know that R might be great. Um, it wouldn't be indestructible because it is slow. Um, it isn't particularly maneuverable, and as with all British tanks, no reverse gear. But if you look at the lineup. I, I also took out along with the Matilda. We have the Valentine Mark 11 with the Cromwell 5 and the three-inch gun carrier. Now all of these are there or thereabouts the same. As the Matilda 3.0. So we look at the Valentine. We've got a 75mm gun. Now it's not the amazing 75mm gun, but it's a downside better than that 40mm on the, the Matilda. Um, and it's deadly to the enemy, so let's not get that wrong. Armour, not as good, but it's not a million miles out. So why would you pick a Matilda over a Valentine when you've got the much better gun? It is slightly more manoeuvrable. Apparently the top speeds are the same, but I just don't know if it gets there more often because it did seem like an awful lot of time in the Matilda. We were going sub 18, 16 kilometers an hour. And you got the Cromwell at 3.3. Uh, now obviously this is a cruiser tank as opposed to an infantry tank. So it is uh, less than well armoured. But again you've got that 75mm and you've got a whopping 52 kilometers top speed. So why would you take out the Matilda when you take out the Cromwell? And my favourite, the three-inch gun carrier. Now, most of the armour, okay, we've got some weak points on the armour because that is basically because it's a concrete brick on the on the Churchill chassis. But we have that very good 76 millimetre gun, and yeah, you don't have a turret, but top speed is only slightly slower. But you've got so much more protection. I, I've stood in battles, duking it out with a three-inch gun carrier. I've been driving one or, or being against one, and it can be really hard to kill. You know, sometimes your best option is to track it and then just try and flank it at that point. But this is a tough beast to kill 
with uh, a lot of enemy armor. This is not a tough piece to kill of anything you're going to meet. So, say, originally, this was to be a love letter, and now it's like, I'm sorry, Matilda, we can't be together. You're just. You're just too old. You're a 1940s tank in a 1943 44 world, and unfortunately, you just don't cut it. So, you will see uh, some growing frustration as uh, I get destroyed more often. And then I'm sure I'm going to probably throw a load of clips in of just this tank getting blown up from uh, all different types of vehicles. That's all different types of angles. And uh, with, a, again, a growing frustration and hatred of a tank I once loved. Enjoy! So we're taking C. Fantastic! By the time we get there, we might be in a position to retake it. So that last game lasted pretty much as long as it took us to push forward. See all of our squad mates get wiped out and for us to go the same way because we're coming against superior guns. Hopefully this time we won't go quite so quick. However, we probably will. Spoiler alert there, it's uh, it ain't easy being a Matilda. Okay, so we have a friend who just got hit. Bigger than us, we didn't see what it was. But I think we're more afraid of him than he is of us. went on there. Okay, and it picked up again as soon as we did. Oh well, got an assist in the kill that time, which was uh, that's another last round. So here we got Shermans, Churchills, M22s, T-34s, Cromwells.
it. The enemy has taken the initiative. So we got an assist there, and we hit it half a dozen times. We got numerous pens, but no real damage. Dash across to that side. Ooh. Yep. Funnily enough, came from behind my own teammate, but there we go, Panzer 4 F2. See? Says there's a 55 round left. But if all the time they're shooting at me, they're not shooting at my colleagues. However, that bastard Mark IV. I think. Yeah, we can. On target. Better move than we did. Ready up. Very least marked him for our colleagues now. And we take it out by him with that 75. Oh no, one of his friends with a 75. That, that's the problem. See, look how far that shot was, even with our really good armor. It's going to struggle a little bit. Okay, so fire coming in. Can't see by who though. Try lobbing around over, see if we get lucky. Can see and a crumble pop of you there. Okay, these guys are taking fire from the flank. But we do have guys up there. Wow, hit twice. Panzer forward, a good 75. Shot it three times because it was flat bit of his armor, which all we had. And uh, oh no, it was one of his friends. At least we got some hits. 